Hey everyone, I'm Matthew Morrison from Toronto Realty Group, here to share with you one of our recently sold homes and walk you through exactly what we put into all of our listings before they are brought to market. I hope to truly illustrate the difference we bring to your bottom line when it comes time to sell your property. Selling your home is likely one of the most significant financial decisions you'll ever make, and potentially one of the largest tax-free capital gains you may ever realize too. This is why it's so critical to maximize the value when it is your time to sell. And in order to do so, you've got to put in the effort and work with an agent who will do the same also. Just about everyone is proud of their home, but truthfully, I've never seen a property that's ready to hit the market without needing any work at all. It's not personal, but when it comes to selling for top dollar, it's important to recognize that what you see in your home is not necessarily what the market sees. And when the goal is to attract the most potential buyers and drive the highest possible sale price, you must put your best foot forward and make a big first impression. Those agents are sellers that choose to post only a few blurry photos of their property on MLS, skimp on cleaning, staging, or conducting necessary repairs ahead of listing, only to wonder why their property didn't sell or sold for much less than they expected, never cease to amaze me. At Toronto Realty Group, we actually do things different. And today I want to take you behind the curtain to see some of our work to better help you understand just how much effort goes into our listings before they are truly market ready. That said, welcome to 627 DuPont, three-bed, two-bath row home in the north part of the annex, a 100-year-old home with a sensible floor plan and quick access to some of the best the city has to offer, perfect for a young couple or family while also offering the option for secondary income with a second entrance to the basement. Between its location and a desirable neighborhood, the potential for supplementary income, and its sensible floor plan located in the midst of multi-million dollar homes, this home has so much potential. With that said, I mentioned it was a 100-year-old home, and it initially lacked that fresh and polished look the market often values. We knew we had to present the space better to stand out amongst some of the newer homes in the area and maximize the selling price. As with almost any home, and 627 DuPont being no different, the best place to invest some of the time and money before you sell is in your kitchen, the heart of any home. The kitchen here offered a very functional layout, which was part of an open concept main floor, and we know this was going to be a huge selling feature for the space. Given that, we really wanted to highlight it but finishes currently left something to be desired. The countertop and backsplash were dark and dated, and the hood fan slash microwave in the kitchen had been torn out by a previous owner. All of this was replaced and renovated in a period of less than two weeks and without spending a huge amount of money. It's clear to see the difference that was made. The same strategy applied to the bathrooms, where we were looking to maximize the return on investment and rather than fully gut and reno the older finishes, we simply removed the wall-mounted storage unit to open up the space and added a new glass exterior to the shower and tub. Another easy fix that we often recommend is light fixtures, and here we've replaced some older ceiling fans and lights with modern looking flush mounts. And while this is generally an inexpensive change, it often appears to the buyer as a significant financial upgrade. It makes the space look more sophisticated, up-to-date, and bright. While kitchens and bathrooms tend to offer the significant return on investment, and often end up being where the, we spend the majority of our pre-listing efforts, not every listing requires this or any renovation work at all. But at a bare minimum, we'll want to declutter, deep clean, and paint your property before selling, as this is the easiest, most economical, and highest return on your investment. If you do nothing else at all before selling, make sure your property is clean and freshly painted before it goes to market. This presents the property to the buyer in a way that they can visualize themselves living in the space and makes the decision to purchase as turnkey as possible. It's difficult for most buyers to imagine themselves living in a home with purple walls while stepping over someone else's children's toys or with dishes drying in the sink. Here, we obviously went a step further, and perhaps the best feature of this home was the vintage pine flooring. Time had not been kind to these beauties. We worked to fix them up, and then with a little refinish and stain, the floors now look brand new. It's a more ambitious endeavor than some sellers want or need to take, but you can really see the difference this made in making the space look special. Finally, you'll remember the potential basement apartment I had mentioned. When the buyers purchased the home, the plumbing in the basement for the roughed-in kitchen was exposed and uncapped, and the gas meter was also exposed. While we didn't want to remove these and take out the opportunity for the buyer to imagine the possibility, we did want to clean up the look and cover these up, while showcasing both the single-use potential or conversion to a rental unit. And here we are. A finished product is generally the only thing the market ever sees, and in this case, we have a charming three-bed, two-bath family home in the heart of the city, specifically the prestigious Annex neighborhood. I'm sure you're curious about the results. That's why we do what we do. And in the end, we not only had the property sold quickly, but for a better than expected price, despite being in the midst of a changing market. 
A moderate investment helped the property stand out from both its previous sale only a year prior, but most importantly from the competing options in the neighborhood and around the city. It's an age-old adage, but in the case of selling real estate, it really is true. If you put in the work, you'll realize the results. When there's this much at stake, I just can't understand those who choose to cut corners or leave tasks half done or incomplete. When dealing with such a large investment of time, money, and emotion, one that's tax-free to boot, it's imperative you put in the effort to maximize your value. We believe that, and we put that philosophy into every listing for every client every single day we come to work. We are Toronto Realty Group, and we actually do things differently.